I'm here at Cooper at Myrtle in Queens, New York at the McDonald's so we can try the new Grandma McFlurry. Let's get it, guys. What's going on, my people? It's Tony from Food Sesh, and we're back at it with another one. So you know I had to go to McDonald's to try this new Grandma McFlurry. Now, the Grandma McFlurry is a take on the old school candy that your grandmother used to give you. I'm actually waiting for it right now in the drive-thru. It's a couple of cars, so I said, let me just start the video now. Like I was saying before, the Grandma McFlurry is basically a take on the old school candy that your grandma used to give you. And they don't tell you what kind of candy it is in the description, but if you look at ingredients, I found out what it was. It's basically syrup with butterscotch hard candy. Now this is probably gonna appeal to older people, but I'm not sure how it's gonna appeal to the younger generation because I don't really know how they feel about butterscotch hard candy. I know me personally, I'm not too much of a fan of it, but let's see if it pairs well with the syrup and the McFlurry. So stay tuned guys, and I'll see you guys in a bit with the Grandma McFlurry. Guys, I got the McFlurry. As you can see, it has the syrup, it has the candy pieces and that vanilla ice cream. So like I told you guys before, it's butterscotch hard candy and I'm not sure if the young crowd is gonna like it, but hopefully they will and maybe they'll be introduced to a new candy that they've never tried or they can reminisce on when grandma used to go in their purse and used to get them that butterscotch candy. So before I review the McFlurry, today is free six piece nugget day without any purchase. So I'm gonna put the information right there real quick. If you go to McDonald's today through the app only, you can get a six piece chicken nuggets with no purchase at all. So go to the McDonald's, get that six piece nuggets for free. And while you're at it, go pick up the Grandma McFlurry. So there's the receipt right there. You can see I paid $0 for it. And the McFlurry was $5.09, which is not too bad. So they also give you the cool bag right there. Grandma's McFlurry, save room for it. You already know, guys. So we're gonna see what this tastes like. I'm gonna give it a little mix. They gave me the spoon right here. I believe they're supposed to give you a big straw but I didn't get a straw, so I guess they assume that I'm gonna eat this like this. So I'm gonna give it a little mix so we can get all the ingredients together. Check that out, guys, right there. We're gonna give it a little mix. And there it is right there. That's what it looks like. As you can see, it's like syrupy, golden type of color, and the pieces of the butterscotch hard candy are right there, so let's get it, guys, cheers. That's actually pretty good. It's like if you've never had butterscotch, it kind of tastes like butter toffee, but this is a little sweeter and you can definitely taste the syrup, guys. You can see all that yellow color, that's the syrup there. And then you got the pieces of hard candy, which are pretty hidden because it's like the same color. But so far, this is tasting pretty good, guys. Mm. Let's give it more of a mix. Now, this is not going to be for everybody because if you don't like maple syrup flavored candies or ice cream, you're not going to like this. But if you like maple syrup and pancake flavor with that butterscotch candy, you're going to love this because it pairs well together. And so far, I'm liking it, but I already know this is not going to be for everybody. If you don't like butterscotch, you're not gonna like this because you definitely taste the butterscotch. So we're gonna take one more spoonful and then I'll give you guys my score and let you know whether I think this is a hit or miss. Cheers. So yeah, guys, the Grandma McFlurry is actually pretty decent and is very different from any other McFlurry that they've had. So just keep in mind that it has syrup and butterscotch hard candy in this bad boy right here. So if you don't like those two combined, I would stay away from this one. But for me, I'm gonna give it a solid 7.1 out of 10. And for me, it's definitely a hit. I would get this again, but just keep in mind that it's an inquired taste and it's not for everybody. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.